standing, waiting. And the earth shineth with the light of her Lord, and the book is set up, and the prophets and the witnesses are brought, and it is judged between them with truth, and they are not wronged. And each soul is paid in full for what it did, and he is best aware of what they do. And those who disbelieve are driven unto hell in troops, till when they reach it and the gates thereof are opened, and the warders thereof say unto them, Came there not unto you messengers of your own, reciting unto you the revelations of your Lord, and warning you of the meeting of this your day? They say, Yea, verily, but the word of doom for disbelievers is fulfilled. It is said unto them, Enter ye the gates of hell to dwell therein. Thus hapless is the journey's end of the scorners. And those who keep their duty to their Lord are driven unto the garden in troops, till when they reach it, and the gates thereof are opened, and the warders thereof say unto them, Peace be unto you, ye are good, so enter ye the garden of delight to dwell therein. They say, Praise be to Allah, who hath fulfilled his promise unto us, and hath made us inherit the land, sojourning in the garden where we will. So bounteous is the wage of workers. And thou, O Muhammad, seest the angels thronging round the throne, hymning the praises of their Lord, and they are judged aright, and it is said, Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. ha -meem. The revelation of the scripture is from Allah, the Mighty, the Noah the forgiver of sin, the acceptor of repentance, the stern in punishment, the bountiful. There is no God save Him. Unto Him is the journeying. None argue concerning the revelations of Allah save those who disbelieve. So let not their turn of fortune in the land deceive thee, O Muhammad. The folk of Noah and the factions after them denied their messengers before these and every nation purposed to seize their messenger and argued falsely, thinking thereby to refute the truth. Then I seized them, and how awful was my punishment. Thus was the word of thy Lord concerning those who disbelieve fulfilled, that they are owners of the fire. Those who bear the throne and all who are around about it, him the praises of their Lord, and believe in him, and ask forgiveness for those who believe, saying, Our Lord, thou comprehendest all things in mercy and knowledge. Therefore forgive those who repent, and follow thy way. Ward off from them the punishment of hell. Our Lord, and make them enter the gardens of Eden, which thou hast promised them, with such of their fathers and their wives and their descendants as do right. Lo, thou, only thou, art the mighty, the wise, and ward off from them ill deeds, and he from whom thou wardest off ill deeds that day, him verily hast thou taken into mercy. That is the supreme triumph. Lo, on that day those who disbelieve are informed by proclamation. Verily, Allah's abhorrence is more terrible than your abhorrence one of another when ye were called unto the faith, but did refuse. They say, Our Lord, twice hast thou made us die, and twice hast thou made us live. Now we confess our sins. Is there any way to go out? It is said unto them, This is your plight, because when Allah only was invoked, ye disbelieved. But when some partner was ascribed to him, ye were believing. But the command belongeth only to Allah, the sublime, the majestic. He it is who showeth you his portents, and sendeth down for you provision from the sky. None payeth heed save him who turneth unto him repentant. 
Therefore, O believers, pray unto Allah, making religion pure for Him only, however much the disbelievers be of us. The exalter of ranks, the Lord of the throne, He casteth the spirit of His command upon whom He will of His slaves, that He may warn of the day of meeting. The day when they come forth, nothing of them being hidden from Allah. Whose is the sovereignty this day? It is Allah's, the One, the Almighty. This day is each soul requited that which it hath earned. No wrong is done this day. Lo, Allah is swift at reckoning. Warn them, O Muhammad, of the day of the approaching doom, when the heart will be choking the throats, when there will be no friend for the wrongdoers, nor any intercessor who will be heard. He knoweth the traitor of the eyes and that which the bosoms hide. Allah judgeth with truth, while those to whom they cry instead of him judge not at all. Lo, Allah, he is the hearer, the seer. Have they not traveled in the land to see the nature of the consequence for those who disbelieved before them? They were mightier than these in power, and in the traces which they left behind them in the earth. Yet Allah seized them for their sins, and they had no protector from Allah. That was because their messengers kept bringing them clear proofs of Allah's sovereignty, but they disbelieved. So Allah seized them. Lo, he is strong, severe in punishment. And verily we sent Moses with our revelations and a clear warrant unto Pharaoh and Haman and Korah. But they said, A lying sorcerer. And when he brought them the truth from our presence, they said, Slay the sons of those who believe with him and spare their women. But the plot of disbelievers is in naught but error. And Pharaoh said, Suffer me to kill Moses, and let him cry unto his Lord. Lo, I fear that he will alter your religion.